Google Docs now has a feature called the forced copy. What the forced copy does is it allows you to require someone to make their own copy of whatever document you are sharing. This is beneficial if you want your students to have their own copy of a handout, their own copy of a journal, or any Google Doc that you want them to have their own that they can edit that doesn't impact the master copy that you have created. One of the main benefits of the forced copy with your students is when they click the make a copy button it will automatically create a copy of that document and add it to their Google Drive. This makes it easy for them to find it and turn it in once they've completed whatever you're asking them to complete. The process for creating a forced copy is quite simple. I have the content that I want to link in in Canvas. This force copy feature will work anywhere you're wanting to post the shareable link. You can email it, post it on any other website, any place where you would utilize the shareable link for a Google Doc, you can turn that link into a force copy link. So I have what I want to link here. I need to go into the Google document that I want to use. I need to get my shareable link. Now that I have my link, I need to go back into my Canvas page and create my link. This is just the same as creating any link within Canvas. This is the text that I want to link. I choose my link to URL button. And now I paste my code that I copied. This is where I have to make an edit. I'm going to delete this address back to the slash, all the way to the beginning of the word edit, and now I'm going to type copy. So I deleted the end of the address back to the slash, and then typed copy. Now I'm going to insert the link. This is hyperlinked. I'm going to save it so I can show you what it looks like. So my students have the assignment here. This is their forced copy. They click on this and it automatically asks them if they want to make a copy of the assignment. They click make a copy and it will automatically make them a copy of this assignment and save it in their Google Drive. Now they could go through and complete this reflective journal and then turn it into the assignment by attaching it using the Google Doc feature when submitting the assignment. And that is how you can utilize the force copy feature within Google Docs within your Canvas activities.